Hi, this is Dave from rugrag.com. What you're watching is an instructional video on how to count KPSI. KPSI stands for knots per square inch, which is one of multiple qualitative measures used by those in the rug industry. This is done by inspecting the reverse side of an oriental rug and physically counting knot density in one square inch. In order to count KPSI, you'll need several things. A hand knotted rug, possibly a pen or a pencil to help count fine pieces, and a U.S. corridor or ruler. KPSI should really be an average measure from two or more areas closer to the center of a rug or carpet. Today we have three pieces we'll be taking a look at. Our first piece is a Mohajran Saruk from just after the turn of 1900. The second rug is a Caucasian piece, probably from the fourth quarter 19th century. And the last piece is our curveball rug. It's a mature semi-antique Kerman rug, just under 100 years old. Going back to the first rug we were talking about, that's the Persian Mohajran Saruk. We're going to take a look at the reverse side. So what we've done is we've placed a quarter on the back of the knots, and we're also outlining the area that we want to pay particularly close attention to. You also do want to note what is one single knot on the back of any given rug. That there are going to be rugs that have two ply, three ply, even four ply yarn. The best way to determine what one single knot looks like is by identifying where the design transition takes place. Counting horizontally, we figure there are 15 knots. Counting vertically, we've determined there are approximately 17 knots. Multiplying the two numbers together is going to give you the approximate knots per square inch. So we've calculated around 255 kpsi. The next rug is our Caucasian piece. Again, take a closer look at the reverse side. The structure of this rug is slightly different than the first. However, Identify once again where is the one single knot to determine what to look for when counting. You're seeing both sides of this particular knot. A lot of people might mistakenly count both sides as being independent. The fact is, on this particular piece, count them as one knot. So when we go ahead and count the horizontal, we figure there's approximately eight knots. And then counting the vertical, we figure there are approximately 10 knots. Multiplying the two together, we're going to come up with the knots per square inch at somewhere around 80 kpsi. Our curveball rug is back. I'm going to leave this one up to you guys to figure out what the knot count is. So, taking a closer look at the reverse side, go ahead and count them. Here's what we counted. We figure approximately 14 knots going horizontal, and approximately 13 knots going vertical. Now, the reason this is a curveball piece is because what you see as the red horizontal lines are actually the weft. The weft is part of the construction of the rug, however they are not supposed to be counted as individual knots. The reason we use a quarter in this demonstration is for two reasons. First, they're convenient. Secondly, they measure just under an inch. When measuring KPSI, it's best to lean towards the conservative side. You may also have noticed, if you're counting your own rug, that you might have to bump up the knot count because one may lie half on or off the area you're measuring. It is important to note that higher knot count does not necessarily reflect a higher quality. Although for this video we used much older rugs, knot count is really more for assessing newer, commercially available rugs. Qualities of rugs are based on many, many factors, which can be researched on the main RugRag site going to www.rugrag.com. Thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, send them to info at rugrag.com. Take care.